Victoria the man said he likes my I love being delusional shirt. I'm sad or like I feel freaking sick like I want you to go up. Like, everything I just did. I feel sick. Um, I did get a book from here the last time that's called Black Girls Must Die Exhausted. I feel like I wanna read some of this. I wanna journal. I wanna read some of this, I wanna journal and I wanna try to get editing and it's currently four i probably want to go home around like six or like five i'm trying to charge my phone up now that way i can get some stuff done i think i'm gonna start off with journaling so that way i can get that out of this is my journal well this is one of my journals i have like more at home but this is a new one that somebody here bought me and yeah so I have some stuff in here I don't think I wrote much in here yeah I wrote some stuff in here that I wanted to get done I know one of them I could take off today was to go on a solo date was to go on a solo date by myself like, that's what solo means so, solo date and I could check that off because I did it period no. this is it this is the note this is us me and Candace at her um, repairs and I had like typed a bunch of stuff so I'm gonna start out here oh y'all can say hey girl
so sleepy. Like I think I have to finish the rest of my day and go on to school for I kind of want to get another book out of the series that I already have and then call my rounds. I don't really feel like I'm going to sleep. Like what I'm writing after myself about what you do for Legs. I'm so tired y'all. I really didn't go to sleep till 3 a.m. But I kind of sweat and so like, you know, I didn't even care that me being up to 3 a.m. didn't really bother me because, I don't know, I just wasn't thinking about everything that I had going on. So, and if I was just up, like, randomly not talking to nobody, I probably would have been crying or something, but actually talking to somebody, I was actually talking to somebody having a conversation, so yeah, I didn't really bother me as much. But right now, I'm really going to sleep with you guys. It's so weird, babe. I'm about to just walk around the bookstore. I kind of want to finish my page up. Walk around the bookstore and get another book. And then, when I get home, edit. Because I'm really tired. I'm really tired. And I have to be. I think that's what I'm about to do. Finish my page off. Ask this lady to have a bathroom and then go get a book and come around. Book yesterday, somebody posted it. It's called Icebreaker. This stuff is called Icebreaker. I wonder how much it is. $17.99. I'm gonna find some that I really wanna read. They have like Colleen Hoover books. It ends with us, I think. I had, um, I didn't read it. One of my friends said, let me borrow it, but I don't think I ended up reading it. They had these Colleen Hoover books. It's called Hopeless, Losing Hope, Finding Cinderella, All of Your Perfects, Finding Perfect. It's like a whole little thing. Oh, for $84. <laughs> we gonna put that right back. The dead guy next door. What the heck? Oh no, 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 no. That's romance. That's creepy. Yeah, every time I see a journal and it's pink, I don't need it though. Because it literally looks like the one I had. But the one I had looks better. Okay, let me see. Oh, I stepped right into journal lane. They got so many people. I'm addicted to pink, y'all. This is like the one I have. It's actually cute. But it feels flimsy. This is cute though. I don't really want that. I kind of want to get some new pens or something. I really need some highlighters, y'all. I really need to. This is on my, not my bucket list. But I, sometimes I read like the Bible app on my phone. But I wanted to get like an actual Bible to like read. You know. Because I don't always want to be on my phone, so I just feel like, you know, get me an in-person one. Not in-person one, but a physical copy of a Bible. But like, yeah. Um, I'm just walking around right now. Let's see what they have in here. I don't really need nothing. I, I know. Sorry. I uh, know I'm gonna get me another book though. Um, oh, this is where I got my last book. This is like fiction stuff. But I don't know if they have it. Oh, they do. They had Black Girls Must Die Exhausted and they also have Black Girls Must Be Magic. So, what the hell is that? I am so 
fucking tired. My stomach hurts red. And I have a headache. Yeah, this is after Elba Chronicles. I came in, I took a nap. I didn't take a nap as soon as I went to, but eventually I took it. It's currently 10.42. Look at me, like, super tea. Sorry. No, I was kind of making, like, a dump page, but I think I want to just post, like, oh, I do post content stuff on here. Also, can y'all even see it? You know what? I don't think it's trying to show y'all. I'm going to just put the name on the screen. But anyway, my pictures that I posted on my real Instagram. Y'all, and I really want to make my real Instagram public. But people are weird and I don't have time. Like, tell me why. Let me, let me tell y'all. I do not be accepting people into my page. Because, I don't know. I, I don't know. I just don't. And people be weird. So... This was like last week. Some boy requested to follow me. Okay. I didn't let him in. His page was private also. So I requested his page to see if I knew him or something. But I didn't. So I was about to unfollow. He sent the request again. I believe I declined the first one. And then he sent it again. See now you're getting pressed. Because why the fuck do you keep sending a request after I declined you? K cool beans. Whatever. Then he sends a message or like accept my request. Who are you talking to? I don't have to accept shit. Excuse my language all but this really pissed me off because I don't know who people be thinking they be playing with. Who are you talking to? He was like accept my follow request. So I sent a question mark. He all like I know you can read because you're in college. That That's what that's what led me to say, who the fuck are you talking to? Hold on, y'all. My camera about to die. I'm going to turn my bedroom now. I'm going to right there. Okay. I'm dead. Let me sit up. So, right? He like, I know you can read because you're in college. Who the fuck are you talking to? Like, and what do you want? So, my whole thing is, I feel like he was trying to catch a highlight. But don't play with me. This mouth is smart as fuck. And I try not to get smart people. And I'm trying to work on my smart mouth. But people just be touching me. People just be trying me. Okay. Big to the story ahead. So I'm like. Accept your request for what? He like. So I can follow you. And then he'll like. If you ugly just say that. See now. See now. You want to catch a highlight. Because if I'm ugly. Why the fuck you keep requesting to get on my page then? So then, he like, um, so then, now I'm getting, like, bowed up and I'm cussing him out because, who the fuck are you? First of all, for one, you came over here bothering me. Yes, I'm about to cuss you the fuck out. So, he like, um, so I'm like, you won't ever, you won't never get the chance to know if I'm ugly or not because you're not getting in my page, so get the fuck out my face. So then he like, I just looked at your weak ass YouTube channel. Um, I'm not gonna lie, you ugly. I said, Jim, yo, I can't even tell you half of the stuff I said because I was really going in on him. Who are you talking to? Now I'm ugly. Now my YouTube channel weak and all this then third, but you keep requesting to get in my page. You're pressed. Like, go ahead. And that's exactly why I don't like people, especially these men. Who the fuck are you talking to? You gonna meet your match for me every time. I don't know who you think you talk, who you thought she was talking to, but she wasn't talking to me. So then, I'm studying when he studies sending messages. I'm studying going back and forth because, like I said, who the fuck are you talking to? This is my page. I don't have to let nobody in shit. It was more messages. Y'all. I'm not gonna tell you all of it because I don't, I don't know. I don't want to keep cussing in here and doing all that and getting riled up because. It's not that serious. He was trying to catch a highlight and I shot his ass right out. Don't play with me. Um, what did he say? But my whole thing was you couldn't get my page, so you went to my YouTube channel, you watched the video to see what I look like. And now I'm ugly because I wouldn't let you in or because I wouldn't talk to you. Okay. Thanks for the views. Like, the fuck? Um, 
Yeah, I was just cussing this boy out because I, I still to say don't know who the fuck he is. But he was so pressed to get in my page for what reason, I don't know. And I just found that so weird. So, yeah. I'm not going to tell y'all what they said about the baby because I don't condone talk about beautiful kids. But, yeah. First of all, I'm ugly. I look better than your mother, your baby mother, your sisters. Like, and the list can fucking go on. Don't play with me. Yeah, it's but going back to school in August. I have to get me some red scrubs. I have to finish paying for my class. Being a girl and an adult is just so ghetto. But it's all going to be worth it in the end. But it's so ghetto. Why do I have to keep paying for stuff? Every time I turn around, it's something to pay for. 